located on the central Oregon coast a couple hours from Portland. The state park is near Depot Bay, or about halfway between Lincoln City and Newport. We're going to be in the mid-Miocene Astoria Formation looking for 18 million year old invertebrate fossils. We'll be following in the footsteps of Dr. Thomas Condon, Oregon's first state geologist, who used to give free lectures on the beach down by Newport. This is called a stratigraphic column. It's a vertical map of the strata with the oldest rocks on the bottom. You can see that the Astoria Formation sits on top of the Nye Mudstone. Here are some of my old textbooks. For specific GPS coordinates, try Tim Fisher's Oroch On DVD. Welcome to the fifth edition of Garrett's World of Geology. I'm Garrett Romain, your host. And today we're down on the Oregon coast at Beverly Beach State Park, just a little bit south of the mouth of Spencer Creek. And I'm doing a very silly thing here. I've got my back to the ocean, and there's a tsunami warning. So um, take everything I say with a grain of salt. We timed our visit for a low tide, but the chilly earthquake interfered. Still, we forged ahead. So you can see here, there's concretions poking out of the sandstone, and they're pretty good size. There's a nice belt going through here. They're just, just dying to be popped out of this, but you're not supposed to go crazy on the cliffs. Um, because the highway's up above us. But there, it's pretty amazing how round they are. You can scan up to that one, just to have it on the shot. I mean, it looks like a basketball came out of there. Really round. Concretions form in mud flats. A lot of times you'll get a piece of debris rolling around in the limey mud, calcium rich mud, and it just keeps rolling and it just keeps accumulating material. Sometimes there'll be a shark's tooth in the middle, sometimes a crab, a whale vertebra. You never really know. Here's another pretty good sized concretion just about to pop out. And then if you look up above, there's a layer of fossils below that hard lime rich layer. It's hard for me to focus on just fossils at Beverly Beach. I always look for agates among the gravels, and this is a great spot to gather black sand concentrates full of magnetite, rare earths, and microscopic gold. In an earlier video, you saw us work really hard for concentrates up at Stevens Pass, but down here they're all over the beach. Alright, there's a nice little black sand trap here up against the cliff, and the water just keeps coming through and it just keeps concentrating it. Sometimes it's easier to just collect with your camera and take pictures of fossils in the cliffs. If you walk for at least a mile in any direction from Beverly Beach State Park, you can find examples of tubular dentalium, the scallop pectin, the gastropod musharia, and the clam anadara, among others. This beauty is for sale at fossilmall.com. To prevent your fossils from falling apart, you need to use the chemical that paleontologists use, Vinac, or polyvinyl acetate. Once the fossils are dry, mix the pellets with acetone and paint on this all-purpose penetrant and coating solution. Buy it online from the Black Hills Institute of Geologic Research. Here at Jump Off Joe, this is the spot where Dr. Con Thomas Condon used to lecture back in the 1890s. He had a little cottage up on the bluffs up here. He just announced on Sunday afternoons he was going to come down and lecture and he'd just get a whole crowd of people. He'd talk about the fossils that were in the rock here, he'd talk about the basalt, the headlands, different terraces up above me, different ocean levels. me some gastropods. Man, they're crumbly. Yeah, it's a, it's a rescue mission, isn't it? Yeah. Jump Off Joe was really close to the Facets Gem and Mineral Gallery, so we dropped in and chatted with K.T. Myers and Richard L. Petrovich, authors of the pocket guide Agates of the Oregon Coast. Even see, <laughs> Do you go by KT or K? Just K. Just K? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I'm here at the Facets Gem Shop with the, the authors of Agates of the Oregon Coast. This is a great guide for identifying. And is that a second edition or is that recently? Republished? This is the first edition, first edition. and the uh, new revised edition will be out next month. 
Oh, did you add pages or pictures? We or? added more pictures and information in there, and uh, it's already sold 10,000 and Holy cow. Yeah, it's really That's bad. pretty good. So people in Germany have been coming as a response to the book and everything. So people are having a great time with it because it has the map from Washington, yes. California. And the nice thing I'll add that the um, photographs in here, um, they're photographed in their natural state. They're mm -hmm. not polished or prepped or any way. Sure. Okay. And we own all the specimens that are pictured uh, in here. So if someone so says, ah, that's not real. That's not real. <laughs> Just a minute, let me get up and show it to you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And that's the Newport Blue. Oh my gosh. Can you see that? Oh my gosh. Isn't that a gorgeous piece? Yeah, that one. Down at Otter Rock on the Oregon coast. This is called Marine Gardens. It's at the Flying Dutchman. And down in this cove below us is a slump of a story formation that's shot full of pyrite. Sometimes you can actually find pyrite-ized fossils I've heard. I've never found them myself. The tsunami turned out to be a real non-event along the Oregon coast. As near as we can tell, this right here was the tidal surge. The slump right here is Astoria formation, and it's got sulfide veins going through it, and there's some nice pyrite. It's not like store quality perfect, but it's, it's pretty shiny. Once you get close to the rocks, you can bust it up. We went to five spots in one day, and all of them have easy parking. In Newport, you can reach Jump Off Joe from Northwest 11th Street. The mouth of Schooner Creek is on Northwest 68th Street. Further north, there are two parking areas for Moolock Beach, right along 101. You can park free at the public access spot at Beverly Beach State Park, which gives you access to the big gravel mound there. And finally, to the north at Otter Rock, you can drive down to the Marine Gardens and park at the Flying Dutchman Restaurant. Basalt with zeolites. Jaspers really light up in this gentle rain. You can see if they're any good or not. I highly recommend Beverly Beach State Park. It has good beach access and lots of spaces with full hookups. It even has yurts you can reserve online. Every time I hit the Oregon beaches, I come back with a variety of geological treasures, but fossils from the Astoria Formation are my favorite. Look for green jaspers, lots of fossils, including agatized gastropods, plus carnelian agate, and plenty of red jasper. The winter months are best, but any low tide is worth checking out. Um, let's see, where do I start? 